We're talking about Obey Fran, one of the leaders for Obey. We're talking about the upcoming uh, RC. What are you guys mainly, you know, looking for? Is it just players? Is it just streamers? Is it content creators? Because Obey has done everything in the past. Like it, it's, it's not, it's a huge organization. We're gonna be, pick, we're literally gonna be picking up a little bit of everything. So we're gonna uh -huh. be picking up some content creators, some streamers. And if I want some players as well, like I've been told that I don't need to necessarily pick anybody up. But if someone goes off, like by all means I can if I want to. So th that decision is completely up to me. It's a lot easier to look at guys' clips with a clan tag for an RC. Like this guy hits this many clips for an RC. Okay, he's a good choice. It's a lot easier to judge that than, okay, this guy is streaming for an RC. Like how do, how do you even like go about watching for streams? Like do you go off of like viewers or like interaction? Like that's, that's hard to judge, you know? We generally go... We don't go off numbers. We generally go off personality. Mm -hmm. Like if we go into someone's stream, because there's a few people, like even players and stuff can go into people's streams and be like, oh my God, this guy's actually enjoyable. Can he like, and then he'll link me. Yeah. But if we see there's someone with potential, mm -hmm. we give them a chance. Like there's been a few people we've picked up. We picked up a uh, Leon from the MWRC that we had. And he was literally pulling like five, six viewers a stream. Like, but yeah. his streams were very enjoyable. But they just weren't doing good yeah and like as soon as he joined they started doing much better so like i wouldn't say numbers is a big aspect for us yeah you know how many underrated people there are for like streaming oh i can imagine i can imagine like just clicking on a guy's stream like because obviously with the cod scene like multi-cod mainly you see the same sort of stuff sometimes they don't have like face cams like fear is a good example he makes it so entertaining and all he does is play and listen to music you know yeah um, yep but there's some guys out there who stream with like incredible like high quality setup and shit and it's yeah. very underrated so I, I totally agree with that i think one thing that annoys me is like i've gone into a few people's streams and not said a word and like they seem kind of dull and then mm -hmm. as soon as i like type something in the chat they their personality up. comes out yeah, yeah. They really it's kind of annoying up. because there's times where we just won't type in the chat just to just kind of watch and get a gist of what they're doing. But sure, sure. Because as soon as you say like, "Hey, uh, what's up?" or something, they might you know switch it on. They might like, "Oh my gosh." Yeah. Um, but no, you're completely right. If I'm a new streamer and I go into someone's chat, I'm not I'm not gonna type in the chat or anything. I'm just gonna watch, you know. Yeah. So it's it's really it's a good way to like kind of get the gist of how it's going to go stream wise. But yeah, streaming, that's definitely something that a lot of people are doing now. VE is a big streaming team now and a lot of people are doing yeah. doing streams in VE. Yeah, streaming is something that I think is, you know, just now becoming a norm for like players and stuff on the COD scene where like if you're going to be playing, you know, a lot of people are doing streams now more than people like two years ago. I think it's more normal. So it's, it's definitely cool to see more people doing it. Yeah. 100%. Would you be more inclined to pick up someone who is submitting a clip response, but also streams on the side as well? I mean, it would be cool if they did that. Like, obviously, it can bump their chances. Uh huh. But I'm not going to say no to just someone who hits straight clips as well. They're just going to have to be better, obviously. Like, we're not going to recruit an average player over an average player who streams as well, if you get what I mean. For like streamers. Is there anything they could put in the title to like show that they're going for the RC? Is it like hashtag obey RC or something? Hashtag you shall obey. You shall obey. Okay. Yeah. That's what we kind of tell all the streamers to rock. So guys, if you're streaming, put a hashtag you shall obey in the uh, stream. Is that the same for videos as well? Uh, nah, it doesn't. It doesn't really matter in uh, YouTube videos. We're not too bothered about it. But like for final responses, I'm sure you you guys will. Final have, like... response has. Uh, it says it. It's gonna say in the video. I think it's. It has to say hashtag obey RC. I figured. I'm not sure if we're putting the clan tag in. I don't think we are because obviously there's more than just COD. So I think it's just hashtag obey RC, and then we'll filter it by like recent searches and shit. I know you probably don't know, but for like content creators and stuff. Do they have to make like this big final video, I'm assuming? Uh, I think they'll be, they'll have to make a final video, but it explained, everything will be explained in the RC video. Um, someone in the chat asks, I am a search and destroy sniper. Is there anything that Fran is looking for for this category? Now, before you answer that, I'd just like to say that I like, I really enjoy search and destroy like videos yeah. and stuff. Um, Kitty and Agony have been doing a lot of them. 
and I actually did one. I played search for like two days and I had a ton of fun. Um, just for my personal preference, I would personally like to see like cool, like content out of it, not just like clips. I would just see like content, but I'll let uh, Fran answer his opinion. No, I think you're right. Obviously, you're not going to hit as many clips in Session Destroy as you would in, let's say, Hardpoint or Domination, Kill yeah. Confirm. So I'd say going on content would help you a lot. Like mm -hmm. Session Destroy, I love Session Destroy. I think I think clips on there are just very good. Like I could see a five on on that, and that will impress me. Even even a nice quad feed would impress me. Oh yeah, I hit a quad feed in search, and it, it's <laughs> I mean, hard, heck, but it's people, definitely worth it. Yeah, I mean, heck, some people save like triple feeds if it's like a nice playstyle, and it's still cool. Stuff like that are cool to watch. It's different. Not many people do it. Yeah, there's not many people doing it. And I would just recommend trying to make content out of it instead of just going for clips. Like if you do something cool, maybe like or like your voice or something or just make content out of it. Maybe some music in the background just to make yourself stand out a little bit. Do you prefer streamers to be family friendly? That's a good question. Um, do you guys, is there like an obey thing where you guys aren't like you prefer that streams don't like have cursing and like stuff like that. I mean, okay, we don't really mind the cursing, but it's certain words that we're not allowed to say because we obviously have sponsors. We're an org, yes. so we have to kind of keep that into in mind. But yeah. I don't care if people curse. I curse all the time. I can't like I swear when I game. I'm a. Yeah. I can't tell people not to swear or whatever. Uh, obviously, I, there are some shit we can't say. Yeah, I'd I'd say stick to Twitch kind of guidelines. There's certain words that'll yeah. get you banned for sure. Um, for me personally, and I've always been kind of foul mouth, but personally, I'm gonna stop with the uh, cursing as much, just for like making it a little bit more PG-13 family friendly. But you know, I still might drop an F bomb here or there. But I'm gonna I'm gonna cut down on it because in general, if you're gonna make content on the internet. You should probably make it more suitable for everyone in general. Agreed. Um, can you tell us the words you don't want us to say? <laughs> God and dang! Just break all the rules and just drop them all. Dude, back when Brilliant. I went for when I went for uh, the Sora C in twenty seventeen, I uploaded three responses and they were all like ten minutes plus. Uh, yeah. I was wondering why I didn't get in, and then I look back. Yeah, don't do what I did. Definitely, uh, <laughs> definitely upload something short. I would, if it's like Call of Duty clips, keep it under five minutes. That's my opinion. You don't have to listen to me, but that's what I would like. Does it help for con or does it help for creators to upload content daily, or better edited quality videos once or twice a week? I'm personally, I like seeing good edited videos once or yeah. twice a week. When yeah, one hundred percent. Mitch uploads like once a month. So when his video drops, he gets a hundred thousand views. Um, recently, I've been uploading a video a day just because I have so much content from podcasts and Snipe and Showdown. So, you know, I can pull, you know, a couple, a couple uh, hundred to a thousand views. But if I was a smaller, I would definitely try to stick to like one or two videos a week. Um, that's just for me. Do you, would you say the same? Oh, no, I, you said it uh, exactly how I would. I think because when you upload videos every single day, just the views are always going to get lower and lower. Because when you, when it's spammed every single day in someone's inbox, they're going to be like, well, I just watched this video yesterday. I could scroll past that today. Do I even have a chance to go for it with, uh, when I only have 82 subscribers? Um, Hell yeah. Competing against me with all the other players. For example, if I only hit one banger clip, would that even be enough while uh, still producing other content? What do you think? Well, Fred? I mean, if you're producing content, that obviously gives you a bump from just your clips. You don't necessarily need to hit 10 bangers to join if you're going to be making enjoyable content videos. If you do hit, it's a bonus, but it's not a necessity. If you literally, this is the first time you ever like started Call of Duty or whatever, and you have zero subscribers, if you make a good video and it gets to Fran, he's gonna notice and he's gonna be like, whoa, this guy's super yeah. underrated. It's super enjoyable. Um, yeah, for all this old gen COD stuff, I don't like, I don't expect anyone to have a lot of a huge following. I mean, I must say, uh, I don't know if you remember back in Red, someone named Random joined Red off the RC and the dude literally had like 50 subs at the time. Like nobody knew of him. Yeah, and he's he big. Got he got big now. too. Yeah. 
subs doesn't matter. It's all about that potential. If you have it, we see it. For sure. Well, man, Frank, thanks for coming on, talking about Obey. I'm definitely down to do this again in the future if you wanted to bring like an Obey podcast where we have multiple Obey guys on. I think that would oh, be pretty yeah. cool. We'd um, be done for that. Yeah. But other than that, guys, I'm going to start a raid. I think I'm going to raid Chai, and uh, we're going to be ending the stream. So thank you guys for coming on. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll switch it over to Chai. Are you fucking kidding me?